So the Backyard Boomer vlogs, they're going to start looking a little differently now because there was a storm last night and we had a, a little bit of a tornado warning that went off about 9 p.m. last night and then I heard a loud crash outside in the backyard and you can see this very large tree has fallen. <laughs> It has been snapped, and back there, there's a very large limb that came off of another tree that actually crashed through the fence and toward the gate that is back there on the fence. And that's typically where I typically stand and record my backyard boomer vlogs. Thankfully, I wasn't out here during the storm last night. I am going to have to go to Home Depot and buy a chainsaw to remove this thing because this thing is at least... I would say 25 feet of tree that has fallen that I've now got to chop up. So for you guys that have been following the channel for a little while, for whatever reason, I have been stricken with these uh, natural disasters. They're not really natural disasters, but I've had some weather events, several in the past uh, three years especially, that have caused some issues. I've missed a significant time from making videos on the channel, especially in 2020. There were four major events in 2020, other than obviously the pandemic, which caused a lot of problems. In 2020, I had a tornado that removed that fence that's there. For a while, you guys probably remember the Backyard Boomer Vlogs didn't have that wood privacy fence. It's because there was one there originally. It got blown away by a tornado, had to build a new one. Then I had two hurricanes in 2020. One of them was very nasty. It caused a significant amount of damage and uh, I, you know, I was out of power for like eight days straight. It's something crazy like that. And then other than the two hurricanes, there was the big ice storm that pretty much shut down this area for a couple of weeks also in late 2020. So thankfully 2021 and 2022 though have been all right no really nasty weather to speak of other than last night's storm and you can see this large limb that crashed through the fence that's nasty i don't know how much it's going to cost me to fix that chain link but but you know what one of the things about when life gives you lemons you know make lemonade or whatever that or every cloud has a silver lining there's actually a silver lining to this cloud here because it's very odd not two weeks ago, I was talking to someone about I needed a tree cutter because I had too many trees back here anyway. Limbs were often falling because there's a, like eight or ten very large trees kind of close together in this section of the backyard. And I wanted to remove at least one of them, maybe two of them. And one of the ones I definitely wanted to remove is that big mother sticker that just fell. <laughs> So I don't have to pay somebody, you know, like a tree service, like what, what five, six hundred, eight hundred dollars, whatever it is to come remove a tree. I don't have to pay that now. Of course, now I'm going to have to put in some real work myself because I'm going to have to obviously cut up all that wood. Uh, I don't know if the wood's going to be good enough to, I could use it for firewood. I do have a, a fireplace in the house. So that's another positive. You, you can always find positives to these things. Another real positive is that tree this very large tree fell at the exact perfect angle where it did not fall backwards onto the chain link fence it, it would have took out the chain link from that fence right it also didn't fall that way because if it had fell that way it would have taken out the wooden privacy fence and possibly damaged some stuff on the neighbor's yard as well and if it would have fell a little bit more in this direction it would have hurt my fig tree which of course is not blooming this time of year but in the spring you guys notice got a nice looking fig tree there that it just missed like it really fell fell between the apple tree over here like it really it took the perfect path like if it was going to fall that is the only place it could have fallen and really not damaged anything so uh, you know sometimes I think you know there's a higher power looking out for me right I, I know a lot of people you're either a glass half full or a glass half empty kind of person. A lot of people would come out of here and look at this mess and just be completely pissed off. All oh, the, you know, everything's against me. You know, the universe, fate, God's against me. You know, things are always going wrong. Well, in a lot of ways, the things that go wrong, again, you can look at them in a different light. Because honestly, if this was going to happen, this happened about as well 
as could be expected. I'm gonna have to, it's gonna cost me a little money, that fence, that chain link fence. I'm, I'm kind of bummed out about the limb that fell through it. But other than that, really don't have any technology tips today or any Linux tips. I'm gonna spend most of the day today actually probably just cleaning up this yard. Uh, so I'm not going to the office, probably not making content for a couple of days until I get this situation here straight. But anyway, peace guys.